Assistant Bola Tinubu has asked the Upper Legislative Chamber to speedily consider and approve a supplementary budget of 6.2 trillion naira. The President's request was read on the floor of the Upper Legislative Chamber by the Senate President, Senegal Lokpabio, yesterday. To provide the sum of 3 trillion, 200 billion, only for renewed hope infrastructure projects and other critical infrastructure projects to be undertaken across the country and the sum of three trillion only to meet further recurrent expenditure requirements necessary for the proper operation of the federal government expenditure which are to be funded by expected revenues accruing to the federal government of Nigeria. Furthermore, the proposed amendments to the Finance Act 2023 are required to impose a one-time windfall tax on the foreign exchange gains realized by banks in their 2023 financial statements to fund capital infrastructure development, education, and healthcare access, as well as public welfare initiatives. Lawmaker representing Borno South Senatorial District Senator Ali Ndumi has been replaced by Senator Mohamed Tahir Munagunu, APC Borno North. Senator Ndume was replaced by the Senate during plenary following a complaint letter from the National Working Committee of the All Progressives Congress. Our correspondent, Assam Raffle, brings details. In a letter signed by APC's National Chairman, Alhaji Umar Ganduje, and National Secretary, Senator Suranjadim Basiru, and read by, and read by President of the Senate, Senator Gasfila Pabio, it was explained that Senator Ndume as Chief Whip made destabilizing remarks endangering the country. The APC's letter urges Senator Dume to resign from the party and join an opposition party. As a member of the ruling party, we expected a much more responsible and decorous behavior from him. But this has not been the case. He is on court and rabid outburst against the governments before the international community and before the global community. He is not only harmful to the government's image alone, but also undermines the party's unity and cohesion. in addition undermines the government's efforts to bring in foreign direct investment to Nigeria. As he is a ranking member of our party, his actions are unbecoming of a senior member of the Senate and sets a very poor example for others in future to follow. His latest tirade, I hope I'm right, on air during a program on Arise Television, where he referred to the government of Bola Ahmed Tunibu, President, Commander in Chief, as being run by thieves, portrays Ali Ndume as a person who is bent on running the country down and running the party aground through incitement and cheap propaganda. We have reviewed that Senator Ali Ndume should honorably resign his membership of the APC 
and join any opposition party of his choice formally instead of hiding behind the veil of grass activism to decimate the hard-earned cohesion and goodwill that our party, the APC, is enjoying within and outside the country. When the request was put to voice votes by the President of the Senate, members of the APC Senate caucus endorsed Senator Dumas' removal and he was immediately replaced by his Borno North counterpart, Senator Tahir Mongono. Awesome Raffle, ATBN News.